Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. When you are done editing your form and setting all of your options for your form fields, you can click the form field shading button to remove the gray boxes from your form fields. If you do not do this, the gray boxes will appear in your documents, which looks rather unprofessional. Once the shading is turned off, you can then click the Protect Form button to lock the form. This prevents it from being edited. When you do this, people who open the document in the future would not be able to actually change the body of the letter. When they open the field, all that will appear is the information in the first available field. So notice that the cursor automatically jumps into the form field for first name. And also in our status bar, we can see the help text that we've provided for each one of the fields. If you need to make changes to the form, you can unprotect it, select the thing to change, and make your changes as needed. And then click Protect Form again. That way, when they open the template, the cursor appears in the first available field. They can type in their information and simply press, press Tab on their keyboard to advance to the next field, filling out the information in the template. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.